Hello viewers, this is Dow Too Fast here. In today's video, I will show you how to install a very simple backup camera system in your vehicle. For this install, I'll be using this Electwave vehicle backup camera and an Esky 4.3 inch TFT LCD monitor. Both items are very inexpensive. You can pick up this camera for $30 and this LCD display for $22. Let me first unbox the backup camera so you can see what it looks like. This is the video cable you run from the front of the vehicle to the back. This is the backup camera itself. There's the power cable. There's the user manual. Here's the LCD monitor. This is the power cable, user guide, this monitor has a 4.3 inch color LCD display with a resolution of 480 by 272 and an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. It operates on 12 volt DC. At the bottom you have this base that you can rotate 180 degrees. Double side tape at the bottom so you can stick this onto your dash. At the back, this is the video and power cable. You have three connectors. Yellow is your main video input. White is your auxiliary video input. And the red connector is for power. So you connect this red connector to this power cable right here. With the video input cable, connect this to the video cable that comes with this backup camera and you'll run this cable from the front of the vehicle all the way to the back. Looking at this Electwave rear camera, there are seven infrared LEDs for nighttime viewing. Over here is a photo cell that detects daytime or nighttime, so automatically turn on these infrared LEDs at night. In the middle is the camera lens. This is a 170 degree wide angle lens. Now this camera also has a super sharp infrared cut glass to provide a clear image for both daytime and nighttime. The whole unit is IP68 rated, so it's waterproof, and you can install this outside the vehicle. The unit has these side mounting holes for you to directly bolt this onto your license plate. At the back, we have this cable that you'll connect to this cable that comes with the backup camera. On the other end, you have this video connector and this power connector. Connect this video connector to this end of the cable and then connect the power plug to this power cable. Here you have the red and black wire. The red wire will connect to the reverse 12 volt wire on the vehicle and the black wire will connect to chassis ground. So when you put the car in reverse, the camera will turn on. Now you also need to connect this red wire to this red wire here and that will carry the reverse 12 volt all the way to the front of the vehicle and this will be connected to the red lead on this power cable so when the camera turns on this LCD monitor will also turn on and this is how this system work as a backup camera let's take this to the car and I'll show you how to install it here I'll install the monitor right next to the A pillar on the driver's side connect this video cable that goes to the back of the vehicle also connect the power cable now run the cable along the side up to the A pillar. Connect the positive red wire from the power cable to the red wire that's on the video cable. With the black wire on the power cable, connect this to chassis ground. Run the cables along the side and bring the video cable up to the A pillar. Pull back the weather stripping and run the video cable along the edge all the way to the back. Here I ran the cable to the back hatch. I'm going to run this along the side right here and into this loom. Pull this out. Here I have the video cable going into the loom and into the hatch. Go ahead and pull the rest of the wire through. With the rear camera, feed the cable into the vehicle. Mount the camera onto your license plate.
Here's a cable from the rear camera. Connect this cable to it. Take the video connector and plug it into the video cable that you ran from the front. Connect the power cable to the red connector. Next, we'll connect the red wire from the power cable to the red wire on the video cable. Crimp the wires together using a butt connector. On the hatch of this vehicle, this is the backup light. If you follow the two wires all the way over here, this is where I connected the positive wire from the backup camera to the positive wire of the backup light and the negative wire to the negative wire of the backup light. With a trim piece above the license plate installed, this is what the backup camera looked like when it's installed on the license plate. Now let's test it out, make sure it works. I'll put the car in reverse. Now if I put this in park or drive, the rear camera and the LCD monitor will turn off. Again, I'll put it in reverse. Now with the parking grid line that you see on the screen, there's a way to turn it off. And let me show you how to do that. On this cable that's connected to the rear camera, there's a button right here. If you press this button while the backup camera is on, this will toggle the grid line on and off. Right now I have the backup camera on. I'll press a button. And you see the grid line's off. I'll press a button again. And now the grid line's back on. And it will remember the last setting you made. Okay, let's see how well it works at night. As you can see, it's very dark outside. I'll put the car in reverse. This backup camera actually has very good night vision. It's able to illuminate everything behind me. As you can see, this backup camera system worked very well. The ElectWave backup camera provides a very clear image for both daytime and nighttime. During the daytime, it has very good contrast and exposure. And at night when it's completely dark, the infrared LEDs will turn on automatically and switch to a black and white image with good night vision capability. As for the installation, you'll need to run the video cable from the front of the vehicle to the back. The front LCD monitor does have a ground wire you need to connect to chassis ground and the positive wire will be connected to the red wire that's on the video wire running to the back. As for the rear camera, you only need to connect the positive wire and also connect it to the red wire on the video cable. By doing this, whenever you have the car in reverse, both the backup camera and the front monitor will turn on and it'll function as a backup camera system. Now there are other ways to connect this. Some people might want to connect it to a toggle switch so you can manually turn on and off. But what I showed you in this video is how you should connect it up if you want to use this as a backup camera system. Installing the rear camera is very simple. All you need to do is screw it into the top of the license plate. The camera also has the option for you to turn on and off the grid line with a push of a button. If any of you are interested in installing a backup camera system in your vehicle, I hope you found this video to be helpful. I will include the link for both the monitor and the backup camera in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. And remember to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.